and welcome back. This is Taste This, and I'm Josh Johnson, and this is August Johnson. And today we are going to try something new, a little different from all the bugs we've been eating. But what is it? Astronaut ice cream. Astronaut ice cream. All right. You want to show it to him? Give him a close up view of astronaut ice cream. Oh, cool. It's a big picture of an astronaut. Mm -hmm. And what flavor do we have um, here? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. All right. So, like we always do, we're going to start off with some fun facts about our food. Mm -hmm. Okay. And first off, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of astronaut ice cream. Okay. Now, who developed astronaut ice cream? What company? Um, Whirlpool. Whirlpool. And that's where our, our papa that's, that's that right. lives in Ohio is. Yeah, mm -hmm. he works at Whirlpool mm -hmm. in Ohio. That's pretty cool, right? We got a connection there to astronaut ice cream. <laughs> okay, it was developed by Whirlpool um, for the Apollo missions. And we are suspecting this is when they basically developed freeze the freeze-dried process. Um, now, was it ever used in space? Uh -uh. That's kind of funny. They made this whole process, but they never used it actually in space. Okay. Um, now, how is it made, bud? How do we um, how do we make astronaut ice cream? What else is it called? Freeze dried. Freeze dried ice cream. Freeze dried ice cream. So freeze dried ice cream is made by basically freezing the ice cream, lowering the air pressure so that the ice turns into gas. So it skips the liquid phase and then goes straight to gas, which is pretty cool, isn't it? It goes straight to gas, okay? And what else, bud? Um, why, who else eats freeze-dried food? What other kinds of people eat freeze-dried food? Do you remember? People who might have to carry a lot of mm -hmm. food, like... And then they don't have to use a cooler or a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Because they can't bring the refrigerator <laughs> maybe into the mountains with them while they're hiking. Um, yeah, mm. exactly. So campers... They can't carry it. Yeah, they can't carry but like a big turkey leg or big, mm. you know, bucket of ice cream with them. So, so basically... Anybody who needs to carry food that um, is lightweight, so we get lightweight, we still keep the nutrition of freeze-dried food, and then um, it also lasts a long time. So about three years for freeze-dried ice cream. Okay? And where did we get this one? At the Museum of Nature and Science. That's right, in Denver. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then where, where was this one made? Um... Starts with a B. Boulder. In Boulder. In Boulder. Which is where Eddie Johnson yeah. is made. Yeah. Was born. Born. Yeah, your sister. And speaking of Ellie Johnson, we have two guests today. Mama Johnson and Ellie Johnson. Okay, we're all going to try it together because this one is a yummy taste this episode. Yum. All right. Ellie, why don't you do the honor of opening... Actually, this was, we have to say, this was technically already open. Okay. Might be a little extra dried. And it might be a little extra dried here in Colorado. Okay. So let's show, let's show oh, everybody so what this looks like. So it's wrapped <laughs> in a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, oh my is. goodness. Wow, it really looks wow. like an ice cream sandwich. It, it looks exactly like an ice cream sandwich. What does it feel like? Mm, it's yeah. What does it feel like? <laughs> Uh, is it me a normal cookie? Is it totally freezing cold? Is it freezing cold in your hand? No. How no. much does it weigh? How heavy is it? It's not even heavy. Let me, let, let let me. August feel let it. Let August feel it. Is it heavy? <laughs> no. Okay. All right, Ellie, like take the first time. bite. You're our special guest. Oh, wow. Wow, it sounds it's crunchy. really crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, August, you take the next bite and tell us what you think. Is wow, it, it's very crumbly, too. Very crumbly. Mm -hmm. Give me a bite. Boy, what do you think, Ellie? Does it taste good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do 
All right, Mama. Crunchy. Pretty crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this, you know like they said, it feels crunch, just it, like the real thing. But it tastes just like a real thing, doesn't it? It's kind of spongy in the middle. You think so? Mm. Mm. It tastes a little bit like sponge when you let it dissolve on your mouth. Get another bite and let it dissolve on your tongue and see what it feels like. And it's so noisy around here. Actually, we are on the spaceship as we speak. No. Um, as you'll hear in the background. Now I have to say this is probably our our best tasting um, food that we've tried on Taste This. It definitely beats out the earthworm, hands down. I'd say better than cricket too. Would you rather have thumbs down for it? Would you rather have this cold or freeze dried? Mm, freeze dried. Really? really? You wouldn't yeah. eat this like a cold ice cream sandwich? You'd rather have it like mm. this? Yeah, because cold ice cream sandwiches are really mushy. They are really mushy and messy. I would love to take some of this camping with us. Uh huh. I like it. It's a good, good treat, and it doesn't take up much space, and we don't have to have a freezer. So, I think it's a definitely. Two thumbs up, maybe even eight thumbs up here. What about, um, is it better than crickets? Or ten. Ten thumbs up. Is it better than crickets? Yep. Is it better than earthworms? Yep. Is it better than larva? Yep. Oh, man, it's going right. to be hard to top this with the next Got one. Got a guys. winner. <laughs> Got a winner for sure. All right. Next one might be tarantulas. Next one might be tarantulas. Okay, Stay guys, <laughs> subscribe. Give us some right. recommendations um, and give us any of your comments below. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.